many, many years ago when communism took over China and they went after, first of all, the most powerful people in China, which were the Pentecostals at that time. They, incar they incarcerated the, the pastors, they killed them, they put them in work camps and stuff, and then they went after some of the other people that were rebelling against communism. But it was basically the Pentecostals and stuff. And so they, uh, the church had to go underground, as it were, but it was still the church because it was God's body. All right. Went underground. And so this one pastor I met many years ago, he was a missionary. He was put into sewage up to his neck. Most of the pastors died. And he miraculously survived for a very long time. And they would come back and check on him from time to time. This was part of the torture for, you know, standing up for something that you believe in. And we have very few people today that are willing to stand for anything. People are so flimsy, you know. Every in a little wind that blows. You got to be able to stand for something. Okay? Now, and so he uh, they came back and checked on him from time to time. Finally, they took him out. They wondered why he couldn't die. All these other pastors had died. He did not die. Matter of fact, he lived through all of the persecution and he was worried about the churches and everything. And finally, after he was released from there and put in a prison and he was able to communicate with some of the members. He thought the church had died, that there was nothing left. To his surprise, the church had grown. It had grown tremendously. And he asked, how could this be? There are no pastors there. There, there are no leaders. All the leaders got destroyed. All the people were taken. How could this be that the church has spread all over now? And there's supernatural growth and an outpouring of the Holy Ghost taking place. How can this be? Back to what Pastor Paul was saying earlier. The pastors had empowered the people. The pastors had empowered the people to do the work of the ministry. The fivefold ministry is given to us so that we can equip you to do what you're supposed to do. It's not just to build, we thank God for mega churches, we thank God for all of those things. It's not just to build some big mausoleum or some big, you know, uh, prison camp where people go to every Sunday and sit there like clones and statues and nod and just, you know, and they, you know, they don't know their elbow from whatever, you know. <laughs> and, but it's to equip you. So you're being equipped so that no matter what happens in your life, your family, your church, your nation, you can stand. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because your faith is not standing is in the wisdom of man, but is standing in the power. In the power. Somebody say power. 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 Of God. You know what God can do.